morning guys so I just finished at the gym it's 8 o'clock I slept in a little bit this morning um, but I thought I would pull my vlog camera out and vlog today because I have quite a bit to get done Jared is coming for the weekend so he's coming later today and I thought it would just be a good day to vlog so I'm gonna head home now and um, shower get ready and start on my never ending to do list but yeah i just wanted to start the vlog now because i just finished my workout and i'm super energized i did shoulders today and a little bit of cardio i didn't do a super long workout because it's saturday but i felt i should come because i didn't come yesterday so got the workout in and now i'm ready to take on the day okay so i am home now obviously i had breakfast showered did my makeup Got my hair just dried. This is like my natural straight hair. So just got ready for the day. I'm about to make cookies because my dad has really been wanting molasses cookies. So I'm going to make some of those um, for the weekend. And then I have some cleaning out I need to do. Mainly I want to focus on like my Alex drawers in my beauty room because they're kind of a mess. And then also with moving, I'm going to pretty much have that as well as a desk with just one drawer instead of one, two, three, four, five, six drawers that I currently have. So I'm going to try to rearrange it all so that I can fit more in it and utilize the space I have a little more because that will be my whole vanity once I move. So I'm slowly starting to kind of transition into all that. I don't know when I'm moving yet. Um, Jared and I are kind of going back and forth talking about what would be the best thing now that we're engaged. One of my best friends is also engaged and she's getting married in January. My sister is getting married in March and then Jared and I are getting married in May. So there's a lot happening at the beginning of 2019. Um, so we're deciding if I should move a lot of my stuff the end of 2018 or wait till kind of the craziness is done with all the weddings and everything. So for now, I'm just kind of slowly going through everything, getting rid of things, kind of reorganizing um, for how it's gonna be in mine and Jared's house. So I'm gonna do that. I actually might start that before I bake cookies, just cause I'm kind of feeling like I wanna get that organized really quick. But also I wanna show you guys what Jared got me. He sent me these on Wednesday. They're so pretty. Isn't this beautiful? He had them sent to my house. It's like a gigantic bouquet, <laughs> but I think it's so pretty with like the oranges and the reds and the greenery. And this little guy just popped open last night. Oh my gosh, I think it's so beautiful. He knows how much I love like fresh flowers and mean scent flowers. Um, I just, I don't know, flowers make me happy. And I was having a very bad day on Tuesday and Tuesday night um so he sent me these Wednesday to cheer me up and he's just the cutest thing he's honestly like an angel for dealing with me the last <laughs> two months um I got on birth control um I was taking these pills which actually today is my last day taking them thank goodness um but they've been like messing with my head so much I know a lot of women deal with that um, as a side effect but they've been like honestly causing me to be depressed and I was just like I can't live like this Jared could not live like that so I went back to my doctor and she prescribed me something else so after this next week um, I will start the new birth control and hopefully that doesn't make me crazy or emotional or depressed but yeah he's been so good like helping me through it because I've never experienced anything like this before and like I said just bless him for dealing with me because I know it hasn't been easy for him either but he's such a sweetheart for sending me these aren't they just oh I think they're so pretty like one of the prettiest bouquets I've ever seen. Anyways, I'll stop being like all mushy gushy about my fiance. I just love him so much and I appreciate him so much and he's just my favorite human. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start organizing my Alex drawers, I think, and then I will start making some cookies. I'm not sure if Jared's getting off work early yet or not. He might get off at noon. If not, he'll get off at 2. So that will leave him here around 5, 5.30. We are three hours apart, so... 
by the time he gets off work and drives here and everything, it'll be probably three to three and a half hours, um, depending on how traffic is too. So I'm going to get started on everything that I need to get done and hopefully get it all done before Jared gets here. So I just took the first batch out. I feel like they're not supposed to be this big. <laughs> Turned out a little bigger than I thought they would, but they do smell really good. So that's a positive. My dad's at the store, so I'm gonna just try one quick and see how they are. I'm just gonna rip a piece off of one. They're good. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I was really nervous that these were not gonna turn out. Um. But they're super good. They're like perfect, actually. Not to toot my own horn, but toot toot. So there's about three and a half minutes left on the next batch. And then I probably have enough to do at least one more, um, if not like another half. We will have lots of cookies this weekend. The house smells so good. So I'm just kind of waiting for these. And then I'm going to clean up all of my mess. From making cookies and then my dad will be home with lunch and then we'll go from there so I think this is gonna be the last batch to go in and I feel like this is how they're supposed to look like they're supposed to be small have thicker edges but instead mine are coming out like this like real big like you can see my hand <laughs> really big cookies <laughs> so I don't know if that's right but they taste good so that's what's important. Hey, Dad. How did they come out? Um, they're big. They look good. Is that how they're supposed to look? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, they look good. I thought they, they were supposed to look like side. this. No, that's fine. Take them back out and get off. That's kind of why you're pushing them out. All right. You trying? I did. They taste amazing. See, they came out good then. Yeah. yeah. Okay, say that again. Perfect, Taylor. Woohoo! Perfect. Mm -hmm. Either for me, because you don't like me. Um, I'll I'll try them. I mean, <laughs> yours are all on the bottom, and <laughs> you didn't have to eat down to yours. Over there. Yeah. Steam fresh potatoes. Mmm. And then some butter, cheese, and then. That's grocery haul. Yeah. <laughs> this will be good tonight. 
Some movie theater popcorn for all the movies we're gonna watch. Okay guys, so I am in my car. I'm about to run and go get some frozen pizzas for dinner tonight. Um, we're just gonna have pizza and watch movies and have a chill night. Jared is currently on his way. He'll be here around five. It's almost two o'clock. So I wanna go get that done so I don't have to leave the house and it'll all be ready for tonight. So I'm gonna run and do that quick. My dad's mowing. So I'm gonna go do that quick and then I will be back. Okay guys, so I'm home from getting pizzas. I put all that in the freezer and now I just set up for my first makeup class. I have on Monday, since wedding season's over and it's starting to be slow season, I decided to start offering like one-on-one -on -one classes and um, like lessons on how to do their makeup as well as like small groups because I've had a ton of my clients want this so bad and I've just never had the time to do it really. So I figured with slow season starting, now would be the time and I've had just like amazing responses about it. So I'm really excited. My first class is Monday morning so I wanted to come and set it up but I'm not gonna fully finish setting everything up until Monday morning when I can see like what natural light is actually coming in and like where I wanna set her up. And then I have to bring like my mirror out here and everything too, but I'm so excited about it. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, I have done one class in the past before. It was like a small group and it went really well. It was really fun. So I'm excited for the classes that I have this week. So this was pretty much the last thing on my to-do list um, that I wanted to get done today before Jared comes. So. I feel pretty accomplished today. <laughs> I got everything done that I wanted to and now I'm just gonna chill and hang out and wait till Jared gets here. He should be here actually in about two hours, I think. So hopefully he can get here a little sooner than that because I miss him so much. But yeah, so I'm just gonna hang out, wait for him to come. And I also think there's a FedEx package that's supposed to be coming. So I'm just gonna kind of Stop the FedEx guy as well. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Look what he got me. Wrong one. I'm trying. He got me a key to our house. Uh, I'm so excited. It's official. It's official. We'll get married. You're moving in. <sighs> I'm moving in. Are you excited for me? Mm -hmm. Are you mm -hmm. ready for me? Uh, beyond. Are you? Look how much taller you are. I gotta sit normal. down. There we go. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Precision. I'm the best fiance in the world because I got him a Pepsi. He's got this weird thing that he has to have Pepsi with his pizza. Are you happy I got you a Pepsi? I'm so happy. You're the best fiance ever. I try.